Good afternoon. It's you, as if you want me. It's me, oh, good afternoon. Hope you're making sales. Ah, my dear sister, we bless God. <laughs> it is well. Amen. Do you have gizzard? Yes, we have. And uh, what about cow skin? Ah, there's no cow skin now. But I have a very big turkey that I know you will like. Abba, you know my husband does not like turkey. If you want to eat chicken, kill the life one and enjoy it. Instead of the embalmed corpse. My dear sister, no vex for me. I forgot the wife isn't supposed to prepare the meal that the husband doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, give me one kilo of gizzard okay. and snail. Okay. It's the end of the month and every diligent man is meant to eat the fruit of his labor. <laughs> My dear sister, if they are calling the lucky ones, your husband's supposed to be the one to raise his hand because he who finds a wife finds a good thing. <laughs> you are just an example of a good wife. You put your husband first before you do anything. <laughs> if I don't put my husband first, what do I honor? I go like Jerry, give me what I ordered for. Time is not by my side. Okay, ma. Let me quickly pack it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Why is it not back yet? His phone is switched off. What's happening? If something is delaying him, at least he will call to inform me.
Thank you, my dear Beomi Anike, a good wife. A woman like you is rare indeed. Thank you for taking care of me, my dear my son, and I know my wife. The three of us are presently in America as you read this letter. Don't be too bitter about this. Almighty God will provide your own husband and children for you. Oh, darling. Oh, sweet. Welcome, love. How are you doing? Mm. Mm. How is work? Fine, fine, fine. Hello, I'm from. How are you? Fine. Who is he? Sweetie, I'm sorry I didn't inform you earlier. Uh, this is my nephew, uh, the son to my sister I told you just arrived from Kotonu. Oh, yes, that's true. Yes. So, where's his mom? Well, she's at home with the stupid man she calls her husband. <sighs> Why are you cursing? Well, yes. Any man who lays his hand and turns his wife into a punching bag is stupid. Sure. Yes. If you see the way he beats his wife like a drum. And I have always told my sister to leave his sorry ass, but he, she wouldn't listen to me. I just decided to go check up on them on my way back from office. And I saw them fighting as usual. I just took the boy. But that's not fair. Why did you leave her with the man? That horrible man. Do you want him to mother her? Honey, I have told this girl I've Sorry, said to darling. Her that she should always be careful with whoever she, it is she gets involved with. I know. Hi, welcome, ma. Uh, I'm fine, Pele. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got you some clothes. Ah, really? For yes. me? <laughs> I want you to change your mode of dressing. So the next time your husband sees you, he will be so jealous. Come to think of it, there are no better men out there. Except your brother, my husband. Mm, I know. You're a very lucky woman. I wish I'm as lucky as you are. Mm -mm. <laughs> Don't be harsh to yourself. The Lord is your strength. I know. Mm. I need you to believe in yourself. Okay. Hmm? okay. Check your things out. Let me go freshen up. Ah. I'll join you, son. Please sit up. I want to talk to you. Oh. Yes. What's all right? Please don't forget about the loan I spoke with you. Tell the management to hurry up about it. I don't want the project delayed. I told you the management said there's no room for loan for now. Oh my God, sweetheart, please. Yeah, this, there should be a way out. I know you have a say in your office. You're one of the executives. Yeah, there should be someone you can talk to that can make it possible. I, I won't be happy if this doesn't go through. This is a life-changing experience for me. I, I cannot, I cannot, I, I cannot afford to let this pass by. I won't be happy at all. Baby, easy. I know how important this project is to you. And I'll make sure the loan is possible. I spoke to my accountant and she promised to do something very, very soon. As long as you're going to return it before the management finds out. Oh, of course I'll pay back. Even if she wants interest, I will give. Okay, just take it easy. It is well. Hmm? Are you sure? Very sure. <laughs> Sure they will find out about this missing one. I just pray I don't put myself in trouble. Please, do something. Do something, oh, because you know I did not collect a penny from doing you this favor. So please, 
Don't return the favor by making me lose my job. Calm down, Mrs. Okunawa. Eh? By the special grace of God, you will not lose your job. I pray so. Because if I do, eh? Eh? Are you dumb or something? I asked you, how did 15 million naira develop wings and disappear between you two? Can somebody explain? So, I'm not exactly sure how the money got missing. So what happened? But I know Mrs. Akiwande has a very good explanation for it. What are you telling me? You as an accountant can't explain how money got embezzled in this company. You are telling me to ask the marketing manager. Manager. Yes, sir. It's true. It's not her fault. So? I, I thought I could use the money and repay the company before they find out. That's why I had to maneuver the money I collected from some customers that we supplied goods to. You and an animal. I the management I told you that they could not give out loan for now. You still find a way of diverting the money into your pocket. I will repay back, sir. You must be very stupid for saying that. Oh, it's not your fault. I blame myself for trusting you with everything. And I can tell you, you will get the result of the letter you wrote to me. And I will deal with you accordingly. Now both of you move out. I see where I got my hobbies! Please, don't tell me you, you, you collected the loan from him. Please. I did. I collected 15 million naira from him. You collected 15 million naira for him? Yes. My goodness, how can you how can you do such a thing? Why? You never know, wish warned you of this your soft heart and why, why would you do such a thing? Stella, I know I'm the dumbest woman on earth. I'm in serious trouble as I speak to you. Goodness. The bad part of it is, I involved an innocent colleague of mine. She just tried to help. Oh. I've implicated her. How did you just get yourself intertwined in this kind of mess, eh? For Aki? That guy that I, that I just felt there was something about him. There was something that was not just right about him. Can you imagine? He brought his wife and his child into the house, had the effrontery, the nerve to dump you afterwards. I'm now look at you. I'm finished. I don't know what to do. The colleague of mine has been sacked. I have to leave this house in the next two days. Two days? Yes. Where do I go to? Where do I start from, Stella? <laughs> Is it that they're not even giving you any concession? Nothing, not even time to see if you can get the money back from somewhere. Nothing, nothing. They're not giving me anything.
calm down, cook. Ah, ah, your cooking hasn't changed, though. Mm -mm. You still have the Midas touch. My goodness. It's even better than before. Thank you for the compliments. <laughs> You're welcome. But jokes apart, I... I don't like the way you're doing things around here. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate everything you're doing, but it makes me uncomfortable. So wash my clothes. You clean everywhere. Everywhere is, as, is cleaner than I've ever imagined. I don't like it. I just, just You're not my maid now. You're my friend. My very good friend. It doesn't matter. A night woman is a devil's workshop. Since I don't have anything doing yet, I can't be sitting lazily around without doing nothing. I know an idle mind is a devil's workshop, but still, please, you are my friend. If someone walks in here, what would they think of me? I don't, do you know what? From tomorrow, right from tomorrow, as I'm just leaving this house to go to the shop, you're coming with me. Don't even contest it. Stella. Mm -mm, don't Stella me. You are stubborn. Mm, leave me with my stubbornness. Please. You read meanings to everything. Leave me like that. I like the way I am. Leave me and my stubbornness. Okay, oh, madam. Please, yes. Mm. Ha, ha. You can't be doing everything now. Can we eat now? Yes, we can, and I'm going to finish every single grain of this <laughs> rice. <laughs> I'm sure you will not regret if you buy this cream. It is for all kinds of skin. It blends well. <laughs> See, I also use it. See how lovely my skin is. <laughs> and see. You have a sugar-coated mouth. Haba! <laughs> okay, are you now trying to tell me that if I use this product, I'm going to have a brighter, clearer skin? 100%. Hey, and check out my skin. <laughs> <laughs> yes, madam, you're very right. My friend has a sugar-coated tongue, and that's due to the nature of her job. She's a marketer. Mm. But notwithstanding, that cream she's introducing you to is a very good one. It's great for all skin types. Whether you're light, you're dark, or in between, it's perfect. Your skin will come out glowing. Trust okay. me. I'll take it then. Um, secondly, I like your sister. You said she's a marketer, right? Yes, she is. So why is she not at work? Um, oh, she just relocated, yeah? And she's settling in. Soon she will get a job. That's not a problem. I like her. I like the way she talks. Oh. She's going to make a very good ambassador. And um, there is this product we just launched in our company and we've been looking for a very good marketer. If she wouldn't mind. Mind, mind K. <laughs> Madam, I don't mind. <laughs> Who would mind such an offer, please? Okay, then, <laughs> she um, doesn't mind. Let me give you my compliment. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Uh, so, I'll be expecting your call. Okay. Uh, Thank you. And um, if there's any other thing that catches your fancy, you can just pick it up. I'll give you 5% discount. Oh, on that 5% discount, I have a few things to pick. <laughs> thank All you. Right. All right, thank you. Madam, let me help you. <laughs> Hello, Angel. Hello. Who are you with? My daddy. Good afternoon, son. Afternoon. I was wondering who brought this beautiful angel to the mall. Oh, <laughs> she's my love and my wife. Really? Yeah. So obvious she's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. So how you doing? I'm very good. good nice to meet you. <laughs> are you shy? Hi. 
Stella, meet my friend and her husband. Ah ah. Who does not know Prince Gorilla and his princess? Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on. Don't tell me I'm that popular. Of course you are. It's just that you don't know us. <laughs> uh, whatever. Pardon me, please. Because I see a lot of faces every day, so I find it difficult to recognize. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Don't mind now. I was only joking. <laughs> ah, okay. That's, that's good. That's good. Um, mm. So we're about leaving now. To, oh, okay. You know. um, I hope they attended to you very well inside. Oh, yeah. Sure, they did. Oh, okay. um, that's my chance. Bye, Angel. Do you know that that guy is Prince Goriola? Hmm? Mm. The Prince Goriola of this town. He's a big boy. When I say big boy, I mean big guest boy. He's every lady's dream man. Interesting. Yes, he's a lady's man. But why would any lady want to date someone else's husband? It's obvious he's so in love with his wife. It is obvious you're not from around town. This man is a widower. He lost his wife. Yes. Oh my God. The woman died giving birth to their second child. Yes, their second child. That is terrible. That's very terrible. Hmm. But eh, that guy loved his wife. There was, it was, everybody knows them now. There was nowhere they went um, without each other. They were always together. So it was a big blow. Wow. The wife's death was a big blow. I'm telling you. That's terrible. Yes, so it was a serious matter. And ever since her passing, he refused to even look at any woman, talk less of uh, saying hello. Hmm. He must be in love with his late wife. Yes. It was in love. They were together. Hmm. Wow. Such memories can never be forgotten in a GFA. No. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So sad. I feel for him. Mm -hmm. So, how much? It's fine. He gave you his card, eh? Yes. Where are you, oh? Ha! Hurry up! Time is no longer on your side, bro. First that works, so hurry, hurry, hurry. Shake it. Yeah, bye. Bye, darling. Bye bye. <sighs> now I have to hurry up. Yes, I'm up here. Yes. How far? What? Good deal. What's that? A khaki. Yes. No, you don't say. Serious. Are you serious? <laughs> so they 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 get me a car. Oh my god! Go, 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 let's go! Oh my god! Please, 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 please. Come and give me every single detail. I want to hear everything. Please. Sit down, sit, sit, sit. Now you get to see. Are you is it this car that you're just doing like this? Abby? You should be jumping! <laughs> Stella, I still can't believe it myself. When I got there, mm -hmm. I gave them my CV mm -hmm. and they had a brief discussion. The outcome was they gave me my apartment later and they told me my salary. What? Allowances included. What? <laughs> I, I was shocked and they gave me the car. What? Thank God. Oh, God! <laughs> should I shut down today or should I? I don't even know what to do. I'm, don't so, happy. Shut I'm down. so happy. Just for let's celebrate! <laughs> Please, dear, I need you to help me talk to her. So I don't know what came over me ever since the first time I set my eyes on her. I've been so restless. So my feelings for her are so strong and true. But I just can't wait to have her around me for the rest of my life. Really? I'm, I'm dead serious. 
Trust me, if you can make this happen, I'm going to amaze you. Okay. I will try. Uh, uh, well, I will try. Oh, please, still don't try. Please, just make this happen. Trust me, I'm going to do anything. I will. Thank you. Serious fellow. Serious fellow. Who is this unserious fellow that I do not know of? Hmm. Is it not your fault? Is it not you that asked me to use my phone to call your prince number? Gorilla? Yes. Since I used my number to call his phone, he has been calling me repeatedly. He went to search for me on WhatsApp because I didn't pick his call anymore. <laughs> he has sent me so many messages. I've not read it, talk less of replying him. But that's a childish thing to do. Mm. Really? He must really like you for him to be disturbing you as you claim. This person, this prince we're talking about, doesn't have time for women. And he has a lot of women flocking around him. So for him to be disturbing, that means he's serious. Girlfriend, I'm not ready for any relationship now. Thank God I've secured a job. I want to focus on my job. <laughs> Focus, but please turn off your phone if you're not going to answer it. Let me have some moment of silence. Thank you. I just hope I'm not shooting myself in the foot. Every single thing I have ever dreamt of for myself is fast becoming a big with his own. Just without any form of struggle. Ha! <laughs> a good paying job that has written off poverty from her life. Now, Guriola. The man of my dreams is having sleepless nights because he set his eyes on her. There's something wrong somewhere. Eh? So I should just keep quiet. I shouldn't do anything. I should be calm. And everything will just pass me by. for you are so strong. I don't want this now. I don't. They are embarrassing me. Mr. Go, stop. No, come on, don't, don't do this to me. I beg you. I love you.
are you doing here? Auntie, please be my dad's wife. stress-free. The only thing I do is receive call, pay in the check, collect the money. The goods just arrived. That's all I do. Mm. I thank God. I'm too lucky. So where's the shopping? Ah, we thank God too. Hello darling. I'm fine. How are you doing? Oh, no, come on, you're just a kid. You can't even do anything. <laughs> you are a naughty boy. <laughs> really? You're my pet now, what do you expect? Don't you know your wife is like a mother to you, man? <laughs> I'm very fine. Okay, darling, thank you for checking on me. All right, okay, no problem. Go do what you gotta do. All right, love you, baby. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> this girl, you guys, is so naughty and playful. Mm. What's wrong with you? Nothing, just this fight headache. Hey, yeah. Um, sorry. Um, let me give you something to tidy it. Bele? Mm.
Stella, you did not prepare any meal for me. What? What did you just say? I was asking if you prepared anything for me. <laughs> I have suffered. I don't understand. So you, you strutted from the kitchen. Standing right there, you are asking me if I didn't prepare any food for you. Who do you think I am? Do you know whose house you're in? You know what? I don't blame you. I blame myself for not setting the boundaries from the onset. So I now look like your housemaid. Eh? I'm now your housemaid that will make food for you and set for you to eat. Hey, if you will meet the princess, I hear you. Please. Don't let me say the things that will hurt you, okay? is my wife to be doing here? It's my lunch time, so I came here to have lunch. What are you doing here? Well, this is where I come to cool off. And now that you're here, I think it would be great cooling off together. No problem, but I don't have much time. My lunch break will soon be over. Well, if that be the case, I think every little time spent with you will be really appreciated. <laughs> How is my girl? She's fine. She's good. She's already in school. What did you feed her with? Well, she's not more of a food person, so I just prepared noodles for her. You fed her with noodles, and you're here to enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, you care for a drink? Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Batman. Ah. Let's come over. We've not been seeing you in our office. I hope all is well. My sister, all is well. It's just that I am not your direct client now, so I can't be frequenting your place anyhow. <laughs> your friend is our staff. Automatically, you are one of us. Which friend? Please, who? How am I one of you? Ibumi is the one that works with you, not me. I'm Stella. Ibumi and Stella, different people. <laughs> but from the way you're sounding, I hope all is well. All is well, as you can see. But. As for me, I wouldn't want my name to be mangled in some kind of mess or the other when some people start to show their true colors. True colors? How do you mean? Uh, my dear, a word is enough for the wise. Honestly. Um, if there's nothing else you want to say or ask, <laughs> is there any other thing? If you want to buy, that's your cream. We still have it. Uh, I, I, actually, I want one of that and then a few other things. Uh -huh. Please look around there. I'll be downstairs. Okay. And then, James! James! Madam, what have I done? Where have I gone wrong? Why are you firing me? If I've done any mistake, I will do correction. I love my job. Of course you love your job. Since you have your motives. But here in our company, we are not stupid. And I will not have you accomplish your mission here. See, I won't spare you if you steal my penny. As a matter of fact, I will see to it that you go to jail. And to avoid this, I would advise you live in peace. Madam, I still don't know what you're talking about. We did not have any misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. And my accounts are always intact. I know your kind strategy. You try to gain people's trust before striking, right? They trusted you in your former working place, and how did you pay them? 
by embezzling their money. Oh, you're surprised. You think I won't find out? My dear, there is nothing hidden under the sun. So please, just live in peace. Thank you, please. Who could have gone wrong? I'm so confused, Sela. This woman and I are best of friends. We got along well. All of a sudden, she just switched. Something must have happened. She can't just give you a sack letter just like that. I'm confused. The way she heard about my past, I don't know. I was embarrassed when this woman started narrating my history. Hmm. Hmm. My dear, there's no secret that is hidden forever. <laughs> Maybe they investigated and found out eventually. Eh? You know these companies, when they employ people, they like to go back to where they came from to search and investigate. I'm sure they investigated and found out eventually. Hey. Eh? They should have done this before now. Now, I'm sure they skipped it because of me. I'm sure. Stella, why now? Now that things are falling into place. Hey! Where do I start from now? Oh. It is well. It is well. Hey, yeah. What's happening? Why? Her phone is ringing and she's not picking up her calls. How there's nothing wrong. This, 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 this is very unusual of her. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Anybody home? He be with me. Baby, <clears throat> what happened? I'm weak. And where's your friend? She's going to walk. You mean she left you alone like this and went to work? She has not been home since yesterday. Oh my God. You've been like this all alone since yesterday? Mm. Please come on, can I, can I, let, me, let me just take you to the hospital, please. Okay, sorry. Tell me you were not feeling well, and you you saw me leaving the house this morning. You didn't say anything. Eh? I told How are you? you? Maybe you didn't hear. Oh, so I'm now deaf. I'm deaf. I keep telling you, you worry too much. You think a lot. Eh? That someone does not want you to work for them again does not mean it's the end of the world. Ah uh ah. -uh. Thinking? Yes. What could she be thinking about? Ah, uh, 
She didn't tell you. They sacked her now. They sacked her. That's why she's been thinking. And ever since she got that letter, she has not been herself at all. Sweetheart, is that true? Is that why you want to enjoy yourself? I keep telling her that she thinks a lot. She likes to think a lot. It will not help her. Eh? Now you're in the hospital. Listen, you need to stop thinking, okay? Yes. Auntie, your attention is needed. You need to come and move your car from outside. A car wants to go out. Oh, okay. I'm coming, eh? I was rushing. That was why. Like... Um, I okay. think we're already on our way. Yeah. Out, so we'll, we'll okay, let me help back. you this one, eh? Okay. Sorry. Don't be thinking. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> okay, I've heard you. Don't worry. Do me. Excuse Who me. finished my beverage? I did. You did? How can you be this callous? You finished my beverage. What am I supposed to eat this night? What will I have for dinner? Nothing. I'm sorry. Is that how callous you can be? So it's not a crime for someone to have a friend in her house. You will see some things that is about to finish, you'll finish it. Meanwhile, you, can, you cannot even replace it. Is that how it's doing you? Is that how long throat is doing you? You just finished somebody's beverage. What? Without replacing it. Squatter. Just because of beverage? Bellumi. Babes, talk to me. I'm scared already. What's happening? So, this is how you've been living? Like a slave? And I asked you if you were okay living with a friend. You told me yes. Not knowing you've been suffering and smiling. Your friend insulted you just because of beverage. I mean, common beverage. It's not what you think. It's not what? Look here, love. If you don't want to see the other side of me, I will advise you calm down from the car. Go into that godforsaken house. Pack your stuff. You're living here tonight. I'm not saying you should come live with me. Alright? 
I'm going to lodge you in a hotel where you're going to leave to or get married legally. Okay? Okay. Come in. So, what have you been doing all day? Nothing. I've been sleeping. Really? Trust me, you should be tired of sleeping. You know what I want you to do? I want you to go into that wardrobe, look for something nice to wear. You know what? We'll go now for a drink. Okay. All right? Yeah. And let me go freshen up. All right. Mm -hmm. I love that smile. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be doing this. Baby, baby, no, no, come on, come on, don't, don't say this. We have just a few weeks to go. Can't you wait? I know, I know, but you. Excuse me. Excuse me. I know things are not right with you. Oh dear. Things are not all right. I don't know what is going on with me. It's as if my whole life is upside down. What about your friend? Ah, that one. She has traveled out of the country. Hope she did not leave on a bad note. What do you expect? Ibu Umi was very ungrateful, very, very ungrateful. There was nothing I did that she was grateful for. Nothing. Can you remember what I told you the first time I met both of you together?
Why is this man always sitting down here? This man. There's nobody that does not know him around this neighborhood. Everybody knows him. He's always at this particular spot. Every time of the day, every minute, I'm telling you. Acting strange. He's a strange looking man. Oh, wow. Good afternoon, no. Excuse me. Stella. Good afternoon. Hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your destinies are very clear. You guys need each other to succeed in life because your destinies are intertwined. Make sure you don't fight. If you ever fight, make sure you settle it amicably and don't sleep over it. Don't allow third party. God bless you. Do you think I just said what I said the other day? I know what I saw. That was why I told you that you should be careful of each other and be mindful of third party. There was no third party involved in this matter. It be with me is the problem. There was no third party. She is just a wolf in sheep's clothing. Why did you use such an adjective? Why would not I use it? Why will I not use it? What was it that I had that she wanted? I gave her everything. But see that her face. Don't let her have face deceive you. That girl is something else inside. She is a graduate. Me, I'm a graduate. She had a good paying job. Me, I had my flourishing supermarket business. She had a car. Me, I had a car. So it is that one that my heart wanted. Go, 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 go. That she wanted. She couldn't let go. My dream man. She had an eye for him. She ended up marrying him. I hope she's happy now. Now I understand. If only your mind had been played all along. Everything you have always asked God for would have been given to you on platter of gold. By now, you would have been hokey. Hmm. Let me ask you, did you attend our wedding? I did not, too. I did not. Why would I? She invited me, but I refused to go. I think she even wanted me to be her chief bridesmaid or something. I just thought she wanted to ridicule me. Why would I go there? So that she will now use me and do tissue paper. No, I didn't go. Ignorance, they say, is a disease. If you had gone to that wedding, your husband that would have married you was the best man that came from abroad for that wedding. By now, you would have been happily married. Me? Yes, that was the vision I saw. What, what are you saying? That my husband was at that wedding? Exactly. Oh. So you... You mean I shot myself in the foot? Exactly. You I used my hand to give myself poison. Hey! Have a nice yeah. day. There's no nice day in this one, no. Ah. Yeah, my life. 